This band helped pave the way for the new wave of American heavy metal. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com. And today we're speaking with Dave from Machine Head about his idols and their album, Unto the Locust. So we always like to start with the origin stories of the bands that we interviewed. So if you wouldn't mind telling us how Machine Head originated. Machine Head originated from, from well, Rob, our singer, started the band. You know, at the time, talking like early 90s, you know, 92 or so, there was a bunch of bands from the Bay Area that were metal at one time, and now we're becoming these funk bands like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Rob wanted something like, you know, Pantera, Sepultura, a common denominator of music that we all have, you know what I mean? Like growing up on Maiden and stuff, and he wanted a heavy metal band, so he formed Machine Head. a couple but why don't you give us an idea of, of the music that you guys all grew up listening to and kind of you know who you consider idols and icons for me it was uh, the first band I ever got into was Kiss I have a sister who's five years older and she had her record collection was Kiss Black Sabbath just all kind you know she used to lock me in a room and and play Black Sabbath and make me cry and and then that was when I was like seven years old so yeah later on when I was when I was 10 years old I was looking through her stuff and I came across Kiss, got into them, and then from there, like, you know, Rush, Judas Priest, uh, UFO, all Thin Lizzy, about a couple years into, you know, Judas Priest, then the whole new wave of British heavy metal thing came around with, like, Iron Maiden, Angel Witch, like Saxon, Motorhead, all these bands. Priest was already heavy, but this stuff just took it to this next level, and I know for me, me, Rob, and Phil, we all kind of grew up in that, that same era. It's kind of always stuck with us. Like, those are still bands that when we're writing music, we either thinking about them or we have their posters up in our practice room or just left this huge mark on us. Do you want to tell us what you can about uh, Unto the Locust? It was a three-year tour cycle for the Blackening and, and a five-year period of our lives, you know, and so, by the time we got off the road, we were just, we were ready to move on to the next. And we felt like we'd made a really, really good, like an actual, like a really good record where the song Locust is kind of like in the middle of it all. And there's stuff that's like super brutal above that. They're like this, I mean, insanely just crazy subject matters, uh, brutal, fast stuff. And then there's also stuff that's kind of underneath Locust, which is super, super dark and more, kind of more musical and uh, more of like a couple songs that are actually like songs. Now, I, I read Rob said something about how the album was about music as a religion. Would you be able to uh, kind of explain that? statement to us? You know, he's got a family, he's got a wife, he's got two kids, and 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 that's like obviously like a huge part of his life, a huge love of his life. And then he's also got music, which ultimately interferes with that. There's a part of his brain that no matter what he's doing, there's always like a machine head factory going. There's something going on in there. Music for all of us has always been like the one thing in our lives that has been great. Even when it's bad, even when things are going bad, we want to make it better because we love doing it so much. So, definitely our religion, for sure. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.